I've never seen a single person fail after they stuck to one thing for at least six months. How do you value your time? I don't. It's not as valuable as my neighbor's wife's. You know, what I see a lot is uh, when you get too comfortable. Somebody's got to pay the bills. The best decision I've ever made was, uh, what do you do for a living? Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Slater here, back out here at Bonnering Car Week. So right now we're going to be doing something completely different. Uh, new content for the channel, but basically there's billionaires all over the place. That's to see. What we're going to do is we have private access. So Lamborghini owners only, as you guys know, have a Purple Monte, a G-Wagon, you know, you know how it goes. And we have this private access to this lounge, cocktail party, dinner, everything like that. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be asking Lamborghini owners what they do for a living, you know, their success, and some deep end questions so you guys can get into utmost value and how you can apply it to your own real life situations. So without further ado, I'm gonna be taking you guys on my trip in Monterey Car Week. So let's go get some value. I've never been to anything like this and didn't know what to expect, so come check this out with me for the first time. This is one of the most exclusive places to get into in Monterey Car Week. If you guys like cars, you are going to learn a lot about them. Okay, so walking into this event, you know, there you are just instantly greeted with awesome cars, classic cars. You can see the old Countach, things like that, um, that were just insane. I wasn't even expecting it. Like I said, I was extremely nervous. I was the youngest one there. <laughs> Everyone kind of gave me this look where who's this kid with a camera? Like, is he on the media team? I mean, no one probably took me seriously or had Lambos. And I mean, I, I, I can tell, right? Like, I'd probably be the same way. All these guys got hyper car collections that are worth hundreds of millions of dollars. They own some of the biggest companies in the world. Then there's me, the little dropshipper soldier who somehow got his, his way in. But with all due respect, I mean, you know. I'm there for a reason. What's your name? What do you do? I'm here with? Ramen. Who am I with right now? Uh, my name's Tucker. Right now, I am with the Ravuel, the, a Lamborghini owner. The first question I have for you is, what do you love about your job? Uh, what I love about my job is helping people. Uh -huh. You know, we, uh, we do auto collision repairs, so we fix cars for people, you know. I love the fact that I can convert data into dollars. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. It's beautiful. Thank That's you. beautiful. And, and if I may ask, what do you do for a living? I turn data into dollars. <laughs> there you go. I do e-commerce. E-commerce. Oh yeah, that's, that's exactly what I do too. Well, I've been doing YouTube, social media, TikTok, everything for like five, six, seven years. I think the ability to make videos that are seen by a lot of people and making people happy, nothing, nothing beats it. It's, it's really awesome. In your career, what is the best decision you've ever made? Um, oh, okay. Right before COVID hit, I, I decided to do Bike Across America to deliver Mr. Beast uh, a single penny. God. And that kind of kickstarted everything that I have today. So that's, it's easily my best decision. That's crazy. Best creative decision is building an actual brand, um, moving away from dropshipping as a whole. I think it's really important to eventually you know, move away from that like high school type realm of like dropshipping. Marrying my wife. Wow. <sighs> Let's get that out of the way. The second best is buying my first Lamborghini. Huh? Oh, there huh? you go. That's the true answer that people want to hear. That's it? right. The best decision I've ever made was uh, just uh, going on on my own and doing my own business. You know, starting on my own, my own body shop, you know, at a young age, taking a risk and uh, just going for it. What is the worst career decision you've ever made? <laughs> Buying my first Ferrari. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth. Let like the world. You know what I see a lot is uh, when you get too comfortable and you know you don't you don't remember where you came from and you know you kind of let off. I think taking a pause, like like I ha like I took a pause off of social media and mentally it's good for you, but taking a pause also takes you out of all that like all that buildup that you have going and that momentum. So you got you know you always got to keep your foot on the gas with that stuff, especially with social media. Worst decision is. Making the wrong hires. Hire slow, fire quick. Uh, one time we hired a media buyer who, you know, we thought was legit. Day one, they made a CBO with a $20,000 budget and they blew through the ad account. We probably lost $25,000 that day. Okay, quick 30 second break. I hope you guys are really enjoying this video and you're probably wondering who is this Leo kid and what does he do? Um, and what, what do I do for a living? And I'll talk a bit more about that at the end of the video, but obviously I do Shopify dropshipping if you checked out my channel before. And lately I've been working out ways that I can help other people. So things like building a Discord group that's completely free and that like-minded people can talk and communicate with each other and solve problems even faster. You guys can join that down below. And if you are interested in getting started yourself, you can also DM me on Instagram for any one-on-one -on -one consulting or mentoring. But yes, Discord, completely free. Join Black Hat if you are interested in leveling up completely. It's the best investment anybody can ever make. And let's get back into the video. How do you organize your time? 
this is something that I actually have to get a lot better at, to be honest. You know, I, I try to maintain a schedule that allows me to be like train discipline as often as I can. I like the fact that I'm able to allocate specific time for work and for play. Majority of the time is allocated to work. Trust me, it's the real life. Somebody's got to pay the bills. So we allocate 80% towards work, 20% to play. I mean, you know, you just got to you got to know what your priorities are, you know. You always got to you know, take care of take care of business first, you know, whatever is important, whatever, you know, needs attending type shit. You know? And now what is one piece of advice that you could give everybody watching this if they're with in your industry or just overall like entrepreneurial? Like what's one piece of advice that you think that everybody would benefit from? You have to stay consistent. I'd say if you spend six months to a year spending four to eight hours a day doing anything, whether it's like e commerce, affiliate marketing, stocks, day trading, you'll master it. And all it takes is consistency. Like, I've never seen a single person fail after they stuck to one thing for at least six months. You should have at least 10K a month. Yeah, I mean, I'd be taking a risk because, you know, whatever I love to do that, you know, that could potentially make me money, I would, I would put my, you know, I'd put all my attention and efforts into that. What's your advice for somebody like me? Try to get an Aventador because the doors go up. <laughs> <laughs> Buy a real Lamborghini. <laughs> what do you think is your greatest strength? I think, I think it's something that I take for granted a lot, but just the ability to go for something and not really think about what could go wrong. If you have an idea, there should be nothing stopping you from just going for it and doing it, no matter what people say. Pebble Beach Concours is pretty much where there's all these like old classic cars and uh, I've never really seen anything like it and this was even more intimidating than the Lambo event in my opinion. I mean these people were out here and you know 50, 100 million dollar cars that you know have been preserved for years and years and years and they own these huge real estate hedge fund things like that so you know I, I walked around I didn't want to make a fool of myself enjoyed the scene everything like that but yeah just taking some of this with me and uh yeah. Alright guys, so I have finally just gone back from Monterey and I'm really happy to do a video like this You know, it's something kind of out of my comfort style as I was really nervous I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the type of guy that goes up to random people and strikes convo asking them very sophisticated questions about their life But yes, we are back in the beautiful Uracon. That's how the CEO said it. Uracon. I think my favorite thing about this car is the forged carbon everywhere and the ALA. Just show you the exterior really quick in case you haven't seen it on the channel just yet. Yeah, coming in the front, as you can see, just classic, absolutely iconic. This car is just such a beast. Obviously, I'm a Lamborghini owner too, and that's why I was there. You know, I have a special tie with them. And obviously, I wanted to network and everything, and I got to meet some amazing people, met a ton of billionaires, and, uh, you know, I'm so happy that I went. I want to do some, you know, throw these type of style videos in there too, and just kind of show you guys more of my life, um, as well as, you know, always having whatever new strategies, back-end methods that we find with advertising. What I notice is everybody's mindset, and even the feeling you get when you drive this car, it's such a trophy, it's such an achievement that you realize however your workflow is, however your routine is, however, you know, you're no longer like contrary to society. You can do your own thing and you know you can be successful. Anything that I set my mind to, anything that I tell myself that I can do, I can actually do it. And that's what I want you guys to say. So I want you guys to do it for yourself, do it for your life, do it for everybody around you. That's my one thing, that's my value to you guys that I noticed of everybody there, is everybody had that mindset where they tell themselves, you know, if I wanna do something, then I'm gonna go do it. If I want that, I'm gonna go get it because it's their world and it's your world too. So just walk away with that. Other than that guys, I really hope you did enjoy the video. Please subscribe for more content like this. Drop some comments what you wanna see down below. I kinda wanna do a day in life. I think that would be cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was so fun to make and uh, thank you all for being here. Peace out, soldier up and salute.